Hey, it's Irreverent Aegis here, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to tank the second hard mode in Veteran Stone Garden, the Stone Behemoth. Let's first go over the priority attacks for you to look out for. The first one here, when sparks start flying out of his body, is his heavy attack. So when you see those sparks, he's going to take his hand and put it out to the side. When he puts it out to the side, that's when you roll dodge. You don't want to roll dodge too early or too late. It hits pretty hard. It's a big AoE. So there it is again. Arm out to the side. Hit roll dodge. Next, he goes through three different phases. A lightning phase, an ice phase, and a fire phase. If you're not blocking throughout the lightning phase, you'll get stunned pretty commonly. The ice phase, he puts out ice all over the map and you'll get slowed down, so try to avoid walking through the ice or have some kind of easy access to a purify or purge. And third, the fire phase, he'll put fire all over the map, which puts a nasty dot on the DPS. It doesn't affect you all that much as the tank, but when he does throw two sets of flame on the map, your job is to pull him closer to one side as he'll do this giant AoE on the entire map that you just saw. If you pull him closer to one side, it allows your DPS to stack on the opposite side without getting hit by it. The other thing that we need to worry about are the stone husks on the outside wall. They're going to put out a laser, and there's going to be an AoE around that laser. This will drain your resources. Not only does it drain your resources, but it makes your recovery for those resources really low as well. So it essentially defiles your recovery. That's a really big deal, so we want these stone husks to be burned down as quickly as possible when they come up. So what you want to do as the tank is position yourself close to the wall, so that way when the stone husks do come up, you can cleave down both the stone behemoth and the stone husks. During ice phase, after two ice throws, he does the giant freeze attack that stuns everyone or immobilizes everybody in the group. It's really important that you do not have one of the lasers on you when that happens, otherwise you won't be able to break free. So make sure you avoid that at all costs. So if you have the laser on you, roll dodge away from it because if you get that immobilized, you'll need to break free. And again, you cannot break free if you have that laser on you. In terms of gearing, I do recommend a common buff setup. I'm wearing Yulnokrand and Powerful Assault, along with Bloodlord's Embrace, and I'm actually wearing Engine Guardian as well for some extra recovery in case those laser on me, because it is impossible to avoid the lasers entirely. On my jewelry, I actually am running Stamina Trait with Stamina Recovery Glyphs, which is not what I commonly run. It makes this fight a lot easier to have that because your max stamina pool will be a lot higher. You will need to roll dodge quite a bit to avoid those lasers. So I like to do that for this fight because you don't really need to perma block here because he only really has the heavy attack, which is priority. I have also been very successful using a well-fitted set of Tava's Favor in this fight, which is craftable. Every time you successfully roll dodge, you generate a lot of ultimate. So as a necro tank, that actually helped when we were progressing, because I got Colossuses and my Resurrection ultimate very rapidly with that setup. However, once we got used to it, I did switch to the more common buff setup. In terms of your DPS prioritizing the main boss or the husks, it really depends on what your group is comfortable with. Typically, I recommended for my group that we would kill any husks that were up around 30%. So if there were husks up when we reached 30%, we would finish killing those husks that were up, and then we would focus boss afterwards and ignore any husks. We had a little bit of a miscommunication on that in this fight, so we actually stopped DPSing on the husks that we should have killed, those two right there in the front. And we had three husks up, which ended up getting two of our group members killed, because once you have three lasers going around and you get through fire phase, it is very challenging to survive. So what we should have done is we should have finished killing off those two husks and then went for execute on the stone behemoth. You can see that with three lasers going around and fire everywhere that it's hard to find a safe space to stand. And especially with this big exploding fire here, it makes it really difficult. However, again, it's whatever your group is comfortable with. If you have top tier DPS, you can probably go for a burn a little sooner rather than later.
You can see that the mechanics are pretty straightforward. They just rinse and repeat throughout the fight. You go through the three different element phases and you have stone husks come up. It only gets harder in that more stone husks come up as time goes on. But other than that, this fight is mostly about being able to roll dodge that heavy attack, avoid the lasers, and keep your resources intact.